Hey everyone, Dale here with LittleRVRentals.com. So your RV fridge is not working on propane. And check this first. Okay, so you want to locate your fridge, uh, back of your fridge panels. You'll have one up top and one at the bottom. You want to do the bottom one first, just get a quarter or a flathead screwdriver. Turn these up. And just pull from the bottom. access to the back of the fridge. Okay, you got a small Phillips head screwdriver here. So you remove your screw, put it somewhere safe, and you just slowly pull this out and it'll pop out. That's your uh, burner cover. Okay, so this is your burner assembly. Now what happens is you can see the soot. There's a tube that goes right up in here and it aligns itself with soot from burning. So if you give it a bang, don't hit it too hard, but just a little tap, all that stuff will fall down. And what happens is it falls down into the burner and then you don't get a good flame. So that's why your uh, fridge won't work well on propane, is there's probably soot in there. So just give it a good tap. And then get yourself some compressed air and we're going to blow all that out and blow this orifice out here. Um, this tube right here can sometimes get um, bugs in it and spiders like to go in there for propane. Uh, so you want to blow all that out make sure it's all nice and clean before we put it back on so again Just give it a give it a tap as well as when you're blowing it out compressed air I have a compressed air compressor or you can buy uh, a can of compressed air would probably do the same thing You can stick it up inside the tube here And then blow in this side. Again, blow the tube. Okay, also if you have a top vent like this, you want to undo this top vent as well and blow the fins off on the top of the fridge. This will help in cooling as well. See the fins here? They can get dusty, so all I do is, you don't want to damage anything, so just blow air over them and down. And there you can see your the, the flue right there. That's the flue. You can also blow air down the flue and that'll blow down into here. So we're gonna do that as well. Okay, and then we're gonna blow down in here. And that should be good. So let's put that uh, cover back on. Okay, now here's the cover. This fits around the flue right here. So you just want to make sure that goes to the top. And you got your screw. And this is what holds it in. Right here, there's a little lip there. And the lip goes under here. So just kind of don't force it, but just play with it until it gets in there. And it'll be right like that, snug back in. If you don't get it the first time, just be gentle with it, don't force it. And then put your Phillips head screw back in. There we are. Okay, now with all this done, that should solve uh, a great deal of the problem if it's not lighting. If you still have a problem, um, make sure you check your propane levels and your battery level if you're on battery. 
as well as uh, if you're hooked up to household power. So if you have lots of propane, then the next thing it probably it could be is your propane regulator. Okay, so on this one here, you can see I have my propane regulator down there. So sometimes these things can get clogged up with oil and fail. Uh, so you may want to change that out. And you may have uh, good luck with that. I have have had that problem before where I've done everything and I changed out the regulator and then the fridge started working properly on propane. Um, if you have lots of propane and you've changed that out to a new one uh, and you're still having problems, there's a possibility that you may have oil in the line. So you'll have to either take it into an RV place um, and get them to blow the oil out of the line. So it has to be disconnected there. And then you have to disconnect it here. You have to blow air through the line to get the oil out. It's not a common problem, but I have seen it where oil builds up, so that could be an issue too. But if you've done all this and you still have a problem, then you'd probably be better off taking it in because it could be a problem in here or it could be, um, you know, due to your mechanical here. But if it's working good on 110 volt, but not gas, these problems should help fix the issue. And then to put this back on, just tilt this up, push this in place, and then uh, turn these flat. Give it a pull. Good. Done. So guys, if this has helped you, please uh, please like below, and uh, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot. And uh, comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. And bye for now.